So we're going to cover the video game news. Mm-hmm. So I only have three things. So start with my stuff, I guess. So first off is Resident Evil 8 to Resident Evil Village or whatever it is. Resident Evil Puppet Show Karaoke. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is uh, came out, as we know, came out like a week ago or two weeks ago or whatever. And mm-hmm. it's already sold over 3 million units, which is that's quite a Yeah, that's quite a bit for a video game. So definitely a success. However, yeah. there could be a problem with some of this. So there was a horror movie came out in 2013. And some of our more horror inclined viewers may know about this movie. It's something that I probably will review at some point because it's kind of in our wheelhouse. But uh, it's this little movie called Frankenstein's Army. And it was a movie about, it was a, like, the weird World War II genre. So it's like, you know, where you twist World War II and make it, give it sci-fi elements and stuff. It's very mm-hmm. much like uh, Wolfenstein. It's kind of like Wolfenstein, the video, you know, the movie. And the idea was basically, it was like this unit, I think it was a Russian unit or something. They stumble across like some, some secret Nazi lab where they're making like super bio weapons or whatever. And uh, there's different things where there's like human machine cyborgs and like all that kind of stuff and there's this guy who in particular who's like got a Messerschmitt like propeller for a body <laughs> oh, there you go <laughs> and apparently that exact thing is in Resident Evil 8 yeah <laughs> like the exact character shows up I think he's like a boss or something isn't he yeah I think I haven't seen a lot of Resident Evil 8 yet but yeah it, it's real weird like it's very obvious that they ripped this off yeah <laughs> and I guess the creator of Frankenstein's army is accusing them of copying but I don't think that he's actually put up like a like a lawsuit or not but yeah he's definitely accusing them I do think he has some some standing for that particular one but he's also claiming like three other things are copies and those ones and maybe not so much yeah the other three are kind of like eh, that could be but it's like it's not the same because the, the, even look the weapons like, aren't the same yeah they just look like generic sort of cyberpunkish yeah monsters type of thing or like system shock type monsters or something yeah bioshock type stuff yeah it's it's like that so that's what's going on with Resident Evil. So that's our mm-hmm. controversy for Resident Evil for the week. Yes. And, and then we've talked a lot extensively, like ad nauseum, that there's 35th anniversary of Zelda and Metroid and whatever. But this year is also apparently the 20th anniversary of Fatal Frame, which is kind of a favorite of... It's not, not a huge favorite of ours, but it's a game. Yeah. That, I enjoy a lot. I used to play it a lot in college with my friends there, and like yeah, I, and that game is one of those horror games. It's like it's very unique. So yeah, yeah, it's a good one. Like it's I wouldn't put it up there with, well, we wouldn't put it up there with Silent Hill or something. But it is very <laughs> high up on list of yeah like horror games. Uh, Koei Tecmo, who's the creators of that game, or at least who controls it now has decided to celebrate the 20th anniversary full Konami style by announcing a Fatal Frame Pachinko game. Yes. <laughs> Fatal Frame Pachinko. There you go. <laughs> All you Fatal Frame fans out there. I know of one in particular who's a subscriber to this channel who's a good friend of mine from college who's a big Fatal Frame fan. And I'm sure he's absolutely thrilled about this. Yes. <laughs> go to the local Pachinko parlor and... <laughs> Get your fatal frame on. <laughs> so he's, he's been wanting to come to Japan anyway. So there you go. There's your excuse. There you go. Yeah. Just stay in the Pichinko parlors. You could come and celebrate Fatal Frame's 20th anniversary by playing a random Pachinko game. Yes. Great. You're not even Konami, Tecmo. What are you doing? Yeah, Tecmo actually has games. <laughs> they actually make games. Yeah, it's like, come on. It's so stupid because Fatal Frame would be perfect for the Switch. Like, this is ridiculous. Yeah, that is the one game. If they had the Switch and they wanted to use a portability, they could do it with Fatal Frame because of the way the game is. Yeah, it's like tailor-made for the Switch. Speaking of the Switch, so there's one thing the Switch doesn't have. And, you know, there's... (laughs) 
your phone has this, every computer has this, every electronic device basically has this, but the switch, and that is a calculator. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so if you've wanted a calculator for your switch, never fear because it's here. You can get a calculator on your switch. It's in the store and you can get it for the low, low cost of $10. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> It's like this is a scam. Like, the- <laughs> yeah, I know. You can go to like the dollar store. You go to like Dollar General and probably buy one for like fifty cents. It's like a basic calculator too. It's like doesn't even have like advanced functions. It's just the same thing as what's on your like Windows accessories folder. Yeah. Like. It's like oh god, and it's not made by Nintendo. Like it's some weird third party thing. So. It's probably like that people that make it on like the iPhone. Yeah, basically. Nintendo needs to, like, take that down. Yeah, because that's, like, not even a game. That's just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> At least Nintendo would have do, like, Mario accounting or something. Mario accountancy. Yeah, Mario accountancy. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's... Like I said, they need to take it down. Like, this isn't... This isn't, like, egregious. It's not, like, uh, don't get caught. But it is, in a way. It's, like, it should be taken down but yeah selling it for 10 bucks (laughs) selling a calculator for ten dollars yeah this should be taken down just because it's a scam yeah (laughs) like who's who's gonna pay ten dollars for a calculator it's insane yeah i like how it's just literally called calculator too (laughs) yeah it's just calculator now you have one now you can go on your your switch and calculate at long last you can go calculate two plus two they can add, they can release another uh, video for the Switch telling us all the features you can do for the Switch and just add a calculator option. Yeah. You can now <laughs> add, subtract, multiply, and divide. There we go. All on your Switch. We have it on the Switch. So that is all of the exciting news I have for gaming this week. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine is kind of the same way. I don't have too much in here. I only have like four stories for gaming news and most of them are rumors so (laughs) okay so the first rumor i got here which it comes from uh, i guess a person a pretty prominent nintendo insider named zippo there is a new mario kart game coming uh, like being developed right now so mario kart 9 Mm -hmm. which i could kind of believe because i mean it's a mario kart game i can't imagine them stop making mario kart games even though mario kart 8 was really good and they basically combine all the Mario Karts into that game. But I can't imagine them. I, I, I can see this happening. Mario Part Kart 9 coming out for the Switch. Because Mario, the Mario Kart 8 actually is a Wii U game that just ported over to the Switch. Right. So if they really want to make a, a Switch-specific game, Mario Kart 9 could be it. So I guess they were saying that it's supposed to come out in 2022, so next year. So, well, I feel like this is inevitable. Like, there definitely is going to be a Mario Kart 9 eventually. Yeah. Like, I feel like this is like one of those things that it's like, it's like a horoscope or whatever where it comes up with an obvious answer that anybody could guess. Yeah. But, yeah, I think they will do something with the Switch. Plus, the Switch has done stuff with Mario Kart anyway. Like, last year they came out with what are that, that, like real life Mario Kart or whatever. Oh yeah, they had the real life Mario Kart, <laughs> which nobody ever talks about ever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like okay, they didn't want to make an actual Mario Kart, so they made real life Mario Kart. Except they sued that one place that did real life Mario Kart in Tokyo. Was <laughs> well, because that's insanely dangerous. <laughs> yeah, insanely dangerous. It was like a direct copyright violation. <laughs> <laughs> You're like literally driving on the real street. <laughs> in a go-kart that's like two feet off the ground yeah and considering how people drive here that's like a yeah. that's basically suicide yeah. <laughs> as soon as you do that it's an instantly attempted suicide yes because <laughs> it's uh it's mario kart that's all about mario kart though they have those shells are blowing people up well they that's had that life. in uh 
Mario Kart 64 has that exact stage where you're driving on the real. Oh highway. yeah, that is true. <laughs> Was it Toad Toad or Toad's Highway or whatever? Yeah, yeah. It's like you instantly like nobody can get through that without hitting a truck or a car or something. Yeah, and it's like okay. You like <laughs> That's that? Pretty much real. it. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty much it. You get your NOS on and you can run into a a truck or something. Yeah. Okay, so the next rumor I have here, apparently there hasn't been really a big, I guess Tropical Freeze was the last really big Donkey Kong game that came out, at least, I think that was a 2D game. Yeah, it was sort of like a Donkey Kong Country spiritual like, successor type thing. Like 4 or 5 or whatever it is. I mean, whatever, yeah. Yeah, I guess they're saying the next Donkey Kong game is supposed to be developed by this team that does that did Super Mario Odyssey. So that probably pretty decent, because Super Mario Odyssey is a really good game. Yeah, they have a pretty. They seem like they have a pretty decent team. So, but the the only thing is a guy that that leaked this or like that had the rumor here. They're saying that he's not sure if it's two D, two point five D or three D. Mm-hmm. So he's not sure if what type of game it's actually going to be. But it's supposed to be like just a Donkey Kong game. Right. That's not going to be like Jungle Beats or whatever the other. Yeah, like bongo Donkey. drums or whatever that thing is. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, it's like, it could go either way, because a lot of people think Donkey Kong, they think 2D, because it's Donkey Kong Country. Yeah. But considering it's Mario Odyssey, which is like fully 3D game, Yeah, that's the newest in a line that began with Mario 64. I'm wondering if this would be more like Donkey Kong 64, but with like the full update. Yeah, I could see, yeah, I could see that being, because... There really hasn't been too much. There, I don't think there really has there really been a Do- Donkey Kong 3D game after this. 64? Not since 64. All the other ones have been like trying to emulate the Donkey Kong Country style, like 2D. I guess it might be a little bit probably because it's a little bit easier. Yeah, but I think they probably could do it. Yeah, they could probably do that. And that kind of be like a throwback to the old 64 era. Yeah, they had a lot of those the, games. <laughs> it needs a Donkey Kong rap. Yeah, where's the DK rap? They need that. Maybe that'd be the new game. It'd be like a rap simulator. <laughs> You're just like doing the DK rap. <laughs> Donkey Kong X Parappa the Rapper. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Donkey Kong X Pop Rapper the Rapper. We need that now. Where's Parappa the Rapper? Yeah, where did he go? <laughs> where's the Where's the new? What the hell is that? Like, you want to sell? P- well, I guess they don't want to sell PS5 consoles. They can't keep them in stock as it is. Yeah, <laughs> I was just gonna say if you really wanted to sell PS5, bring back Parappa the Rapper. I guarantee you'd be selling off the shelves. Yeah, I'd be selling off the shelves. I remember that game. That game was actually pretty fun. <laughs> Yeah, like the onion guy or whatever that little onion. Yeah, dude's like punch kicks all yeah. the mic. you want to test me, until you find the things I'll teach you. Sure to beat you. Nevertheless, you get a lesson from teaching. I'll teach you. Like we need Paul Rapper the rapper. He he showed up on uh, what's it called? PlayStation All Stars. Maybe he'll be us. Maybe on the Switch is the DLC. Where's he at? He should be on the uh, Smash Ultimate. Yeah, where is he at? Paul Rapper, the rapper. And that'd be like his his final Smash could be like you have to like time your buttons correctly. Yeah, and whatever the hell he is, you know, like a dog or something. Like what is? What I don't is even know what he's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> what is a Parappa? <laughs> he's a rap god. He's spitting fire, as they say. <laughs> as they say. <laughs> <laughs> as the children say these days. Yeah, as the kids say these days. We don't even know if that kids say that. That might be a 2000s term. I don't think anybody says that. <laughs> yeah, that used to be a thing that people say. People do say spitting, though. So. Yeah. There you go. Like, if I thought spitting, that means an actual spit. Spit on the ground. Back in my day. <laughs> yeah. Back in my day, when I say spit, I mean spit. That's what the kids. The kids say swall and yeet. <laughs> Was it yeet? All, Is them, it another one? <laughs> all them kids and their Ben Swallows. Yeah, Ben Swallows and their yeet. <laughs> and YOLO life. Yeah. That YOLO life. <laughs> that yeet YOLO life. Yeah, yeet YOLO life. <laughs> 
which actually that goes into one of the stories I have, that Yeet Life. That Yeet Life, yeah. After this one here. Okay, so uh, there's actually another thing that's, that was like about to be released here, but I guess LucasArts actually releasing some classic games on the Switch, the eShop, eShop next month. And it is looks like Zombie Ate My Neighbors and Ghoul Patrol is supposed to be coming out in a Lucasfilm classic pack. That's awesome. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good thing. I kind of, I'm surprised they're bringing it out, but I'm actually not surprised at the same time. Because I'm getting my neighbors in Gold Patrol, still pretty popular games. Yeah, and they're kind of you know? rare, too. Yeah, they're very rare games, too, like as well. They're, they're like the one of the expensive ones, aren't they? Yeah, like, they're yeah, pretty... yeah, I mean, I know, I think Gold Patrol, I checked for them one time, and hmm. I feel like Gold Patrol was like over $100, at least. I'm sure. And Zombie Ate My Neighbors is probably up, it's there, up there too. too. I think when I checked, it was like eighty bucks or something. So the only thing is, like, if they're gonna bring it like this, I'm I'm sure this this isn't gonna show up on the the East Shop then, <laughs> or whatever the uh, SNES Online. Classic Shop or whatever that thing is. No, it's not. Go, but but I'd still I would pay for it. They if they do, yeah, like I this, would too. I'd pay for these games if they release them. Just release them in some format. Yeah, because I don't think the Zombies Ate My Neighbors and Ghoul Patrol is really been out in a while like that's probably like when i came out no i haven't i've played them before but i i never owned them i haven't played much of them so like i would definitely be interested. yeah and i guess i was reading looking at the price on here saying the price should be about 15 dollars. so that's not too bad for two games yeah that's all right yeah that's pretty decent i would, I would pay that that's probably the, worth it the alternative outside of emulators is to try to track down the actual game and it's over for 100 bucks like yeah okay 15 bucks sounds good with someone that you buy a game that has like george written in sharpie and it's like misspelled (laughs) (laughs) at least you get something that's good do you think they'll ever add like online co-op on any of these type of things actually they probably should because I'll be eight my neighbors is a co-op game. Yeah. And maybe Ghoul Patrol. I think I'm not sure about Ghoul Patrol. Is that Yeah, I of... don't remember if it is or not, but I know Zombie Ate My Neighbors is. Yeah, they probably should. Because if this is made by this guy, they the Dotemu is actually the people that are made. They made Streets of Rage 4. <laughs> Dotemu sounds like Dormammu. <laughs> yeah, Dormammu made Streets of Rage 4. <laughs> Dotemu, I've come to bargain. <laughs> yeah, I've come to bargain. Release Zombies Ain't My Neighbors and Ghoul Patrol. <laughs> yeah, that's literally what happened. <laughs> they probably could put it in, because if it's like anything like, was it M9 or whatever, that's the people that Square Enix has that have been making remaking a lot of those old older games. Yeah, I've been buying a lot of those, too. Yeah, like the, collect- the collection packs and stuff. I think they do could add stuff into it. I think they made, like, Castlevania as well. Like, that was, like, the collection pack as well that they made. Yeah, I got that, too. <laughs> yeah, I do, too. I got, like, six, I think I have, like... I have like ten new games on the Switch, and then the rest of it is just like retro stuff from the store. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me, I do got to buy the one that Square Enix one. I don't know if it came out yet, but it's like the uh, Legend of Final Fantasy Legends or whatever. I don't remember. Yeah, I just recently bought like one of the Saga games or whatever. Too. Yeah, Saga is one that I kind of want to play because that's like I heard that's a pretty decent one. So. Yeah. But this is another game I probably will get. Zombie at my neighbors in Ghoul Patrol. I probably will buy this. And apparently it's saying that I just look, was looking a little bit more in this article. June 29th is actually when it's supposed to come out. So next month okay. at the end of the month. There That's something. There are a lot of uh, Super Nintendo games that are on sale like that. So I'm hoping that will kind of open it up a bit. Yeah. Open it up and also leave it. Maybe lower some of the prices for actual physical games. I guess if you want to like. If you're a collector that is. That's true. I think that's what happened with like Earth. I guess maybe not even Earthbound. I think Earthbound's still a thousand bucks. Yeah, I don't think it matters. <laughs> yeah, it's like who cares? If you want the physical copy, you can get the physical copy. Even though that game's been released, or I guess Mother is never is it doesn't exist. So well, Mother Three doesn't exist. Yeah, Mother Three doesn't exist. Mother One does. Earthbound's on everything, but Mother Three does not exist. Mother Zero only exists on the that 3DS. Exist. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't exist either. Only. Yeah, only Earthbound. Okay, and my final thing I have here, because we're talking about the Yeet Life. Apparently, Target is halting sales of all trading cards, including Pokemon, over safety con- over safety concerns. So, 
if anyone is collecting Pokemon cards recently, you can't find these cards anywhere. They're like literally just bought out in the stores constantly. Yeah. I guess Target, what they used their used to policy was used to be was on Fridays. I think at like eight o'clock, you could come in and buy Pokemon cards then. But they you had to go like behind the you had to go like behind the store in the shutter area. It's like black market area to buy Pokemon cards in the store. You gotta, you gotta meet the store clerk behind the dumpster in the back. Yeah, and he, ha- he has it like a brown paper bag <laughs> and you can get it from him there. Right. But now their policy has changed to where they are suspending all Pokemon card sales and even all trading card sales. Which I'm not sure about. I'm not sure about Magic, but no Pokemon. And this was from Pokemon because the reason why they are doing this is because a place in Wisconsin apparently they had a gigantic brawl in the Target <laughs> Where there was like guns involved and everything else, and like strangulate people were like strangling each other and punching each other because of Pokemon cards. <laughs> Wisconsin, yeah. <laughs> so all the scalpers are trying to fight off. Maybe they probably almost ran up to the same place at once, and they were trying to like buy these cards. But every all the scalpers in the country all converged on Milwaukee. <laughs> yeah, Milwaukee to try to get their po- <laughs> Pokemon cards. <laughs> And now, now Target is saying that they need to have like strict safety guidelines because, and just like not sell them because they don't want people like fighting in their stores. Yeah, they they had a. There must be problems with like sports cards too, because. Yeah, I'm sure. There was a picture floating around. You showed me this picture, that like the Pokemon cards are like totally gone and then the magic and all other stuff's there. But then there's a sign in the front that says that they're no longer selling Pokemon, but also like MLB, NBA, NFL cards. I'm sure. Yeah. Cause I think, cause I actually trade, I actually do collect Pokemon cards. I've been doing it for a long time. So mm-hmm. this is really affecting me. Cause I always used to buy them in the stores, <laughs> but now I can't because it's like, okay. And I don't want to pay a scalper price of like triple of what they actually cost. So I haven't like bought any cards at all, but I think I think in uh the at least the football cards and stuff I think like a Tom Brady card or something like their rookie Tom Brady card just sold for like one point five million dollars or something like an auction. So I'm sure I'm sure people will buy those up as well. But the only thing is like you do realize all the cards that are selling for all these prices are stuff that you can't buy anymore. They yeah. came out probably like twenty years ago. Because, like, Pokemon, like, first edition boost set of Charizards and stuff like that, like, the base set Charizard, the Shadowless one, right. I think it sold for, like, $400,000 or something like that. Yeah, That's what people want to buy them. You ain't because getting that. that at Target. No. <laughs> Unless you got a time machine, you're not getting <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if I had a time machine, I'd just buy buying booster boxes then, just, like, straight up buying booster boxes. Hey, I think those go for, like, every, yeah. That's they buy the- out everything. That's the only way you're going to get one now is if somebody has unopened packs. Yeah, then you can just like buy. Which those are still expensive. Yeah, they can be go for like, like over $100. Yeah, buy $100 and all you get is like water energy cards or something. Yeah, water energy cards <laughs> is like great. That sucks. And a lot of people, what they do is, at least with the way the old Pokemon packs were, you could actually weigh, weigh them. They're called, they call them heavy packs. So normally when they're a heavier pack, it's because the foiling that they put on it makes the pack heavier. Mm-hmm. So you know what cards are, what packs have the foils in them. Right. So what people do is they buy the booster boxes and they they weigh them all out. So they take all the good ones and then they sell you all the ones that don't have any foiling or don't have any like holographics in them at all. So, yeah. <laughs> so they take all the expensive ones, but they sell you all like the crap. Yeah, it's basically impossible to get the the really rare cards at this point. Yeah, unless you want to spend like. Oh well, yeah, I mean, you can dollars. you can get the Charizard if you spend four hundred thousand dollars for it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or just buy a booster box for and then spend five hundred thousand dollars for that, and then not have any guarantee that there's anything in it. Yeah, like nowadays, I think the most excon- like I think the last set that came out, which I think is called Shining Fates, the Charizard that's in there is like. I think a thousand dollars. So that's not. I mean, it's a lot, but that's still pretty hard to actually find that in there. Right. It's a very. It's not like it's every. It's not guarantee you're gonna find a Charizard in each pack type of thing. So. Yeah. Which is kind of weird. It's like people are just buying these up now, and it's like, I guess 
I don't know if they're just saving them for future. Because I know, like, and you still got to grade these cards as well. So, like, the grading services. But a lot of grading services are, like, suspending their operations right now because they have so much backlog. Right. Of Pokemon cards and specifically. So, just, like, scalpers must just be, like, buying them and just opening them trying to sell them later on by sen- sending them to the card graders to get get it graded. That's the thing, too. Like, there has to be an oversaturation of this shit at this point. Like, yeah. I'm sure everybody and their brother is a scalper now. So <laughs> yeah, it's like, how, how is there still a market for this? Yeah, it's like everyone. Yeah, everyone has it now. It's like like they're just selling to other scalpers. They have to be at this point. Yeah, I guess there's actually in this article they're actually saying that there is a 574 percent increase from ni- 2019 to 2020 on Pokemon card selling, <laughs> and the pace have have kept the same since 2019. Yes, yeah, that Corona is insane. <laughs> Yeah, ever since Corona started. That is insane. Yeah. And yeah, it's got to be, unless unless what Pokemon does, which is, it's owned by Nintendo. Unless they just, just print out a specific number of sets or, or cards at a time. That's the only way they're going to keep the market down. But at that point, it's like, no one can buy them still. It's like, no one can literally buy them. So, hmm. so either if you have your bots or you have your tent set out in front of the store when they open most normal people can't buy them or, or unless they want to pay the the triple or quadruple the price that it normally costs for a pack. Cause a pack's like four bucks. People sell them on eBay for like $50 <laughs> yeah. for a new pack, like a new set. It's like, I'm not going to pay $50 for a card that is worth $4. Like a pack that's worth $4. I'll wait until maybe the market saturates again, but it's like at this point, it's almost like they need like they need guidelines or something, or at least some regulation or something. Because ever since ever since the coronavirus hit, everything's just been sold out. Yeah, it's just like okay, scalping toilet paper and stuff. Yeah, scalping toilet paper and like that one guy that had like forty four hundred gallons worth of like hand sanitizer because he bought them all. Or whatever the hell was going on last week, where they bought like hundred gallons of gas or whatever. Oh yeah, then they put it in like <laughs> Ziploc bags. <laughs> that's what are you doing? <laughs> What you do with your life? <laughs> like that's like the most dangerous thing is put gasoline in Ziploc bags. Come on. <laughs> like put uh, you in a gas can, like Yeah, no. It's like my gas cans, my Ziploc bags. <laughs> maybe maybe gas cans are like over are probably on like sold out. They probably <laughs> on like they probably been scalped. Probably. But it's kinda like it just, it just like it's getting ridiculous. I think we talked about this before, but it's just getting ridiculous. Oh. Literally, just ridiculous. It's every week we talk about a scalping story. Yeah, because it's like the biggest thing that's happening right now. It's like scalping everything. Like people going into, you know, people. I wonder if people are gonna start going to like semis and stuff on the road for Pokemon cards. <laughs> they like cut holes. Do. I know what Pokemon like. I, I guess the the. Uh, what Pokemon has been doing, because I did read a little bit about it, is they. I think they're, the newest sets coming out is coming out is called Chilling Rains or something like that, mm. which is supposed to be about like the, the last DLC content. So it has like whatever those Ice type Pokemon that like the legendaries and stuff in it. Yeah. I guess what they're going to try to do since a lot of like Target's halting sales of cards, and I think Walmart is like limiting to a lot of these sales. I guess you have to buy them from the Pokemon Center, which is like like the Pokemon Store. Like their official store, but they're having like a lottery system set up to where you can put your name in it, but then you have a lottery and then you have like, then you can buy it if you get picked, which maybe that might be really the only way to actually go around all that stuff. Yeah, possibly. But but that's ridiculous still. It's like, I can't go to a store and buy cards because people just keep buying them out. (laughs) Yeah. Or get, or get a stabbed at the store trying to buy Pokemon cards, get stabbed. Stabbed or shot or both. Someone be like, double slash, and they just get stabbed in the, <laughs> in the chest. He used but, double slash. It was super effective. <laughs> it was super effective. <laughs> now I take your stuff. So Team Rocket's coming. Maybe that's what I mean. People should just wear it. Maybe all the scalps should just wear Team Rocket uniforms. <laughs> Go to the stores. Yeah. Surprised that hasn't happened yet. That's just that's just the way it is now, I guess. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. That's actually all I had. I guess we'll end on a downer, I guess. <laughs> like Pokemon we always cards. do. <laughs> yeah. Pokemon cards is never is hard to find now. It's... I feel like every week we end on a downer, and it's always Pokemon cards. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it is. 
<laughs> it's Pokemon cards. Pokemon's Pokemon just cards. like a downer. Pokemon cards are what's wrong with humanity. <laughs> yeah, Pokemon cards are what's wrong with humanity. It's like gold now. You can like start giving people cards. Pokemon was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. If you want to buy your gasoline and your Ziploc bag, you can give them like two first edition Charizards for one bag of gasoline. This is like this is like turning into like Mad I don't know. Max. Yeah, Mad Max or like Death Road to Canada or something. To buy your gas, you need to give them like three Pokemon cards to buy your Ziploc bag of gas. So you could just drive to Canada, I guess. You can drive to the Target and get more Pokemon cards. Yeah, good drive to the Target so they can tell you that we don't sell Pokemon cards here anymore. Yeah. And then you can get mad at them and just start beating them up. This is the world we live in. <laughs> like, that's literally the world we live in now. This is the way. <laughs> this is the way. Okay, so with that, I think we're going to close it. So if you yes. like what you heard, hit like and subscribe, and you too can feel the strong swelling within. See ya. See ya.